Nine Royal Passions of the Year, a portfolio of sacred art by Frederick Adams, lives up to its reputation as something that's more like tarot than graven images. These are didactic illustrations. They're not pornographic or comical. So to say. The dates herein for the observance of the cross quarters are not accurate, but in general, the neo-pagan movement has not followed the astronomical or ancient Celtic or ancient European or ancient wherever dates for these things. Um, the equinoxes and the solstices sometimes align to the dates listed here. And that's basically my only issue with it. The women and the men are depicted a little bit differently as the season progresses. During the darkest and coldest, the women are depicted as thicker. And midsummer, they can be rather thin. Repose is the one that's different from most uh, sequences that either pick the cross quarters and the equinoxes and the solstices are just the equinoxes, solstices. And that's basically the beginning half of the dark quarter of the year. And this was a key text for the Ferifaria movement, the wild celebrations, referring to the celebrations of nature, of course. And we see the tree oakums and stuff here. I'm not going to flip through this. Most essential can be said to be, you know, the whole family scheme of it. The year starting at the spring equinox with birth and then engagement, marriage, honeymoon, building up the household, enjoying the bounty thereof, and Time for a rest, and then you go into repose. And of course, you have to extend your family and the nursing period, and that's connected with the plants and all that thereof. And to reflect the time of the year in which I intend to have this program released, we have the awakening of Yule, the bringing out and pursuing for feeding of Almec, the childhood and foundations of Astara, the growth and distinguishing of Beltane, the combining the rejuvenating of Midsummer, the ripening and collection of Lunasa, of course, Mabon Ap Madron, our harvest home, and Samhain are also, um, or Samhain as some people are going to pronou pronounce it, but I guess at some point it sort of was, because you see words related to that. But harvest home, 
you know, around the, uh, you know, actually supposed to be the fall equinox is a time of announcements or having more societal role. And Samhain, of course, is a time of giving back. And the illustration in here of that is like, like a cute Halloween movie, but a serious one at the same time. All this stuff is serious and both playful. The focus, of course, is on Kor, or the divine feminine, but or that mask of the divinity, you could say. Because, um, of course, we know the divine through the material universe, which does have plenty of beings that have gender and things that can be related more to one gender or another. But let's not, of course, get caught up in those gender stereotypes. And as I said, repose is something you're wrapped up in, or it's wrapped up in you.